Why do some of us struggle to retain the length and vitality of our hair? Today, I am focusing on a crucial aspect of hair care, preserving the ends of our hair. Our hair strands are delicate fibers, and if put under stress, they will become weak and they will break. But with gentle care and the tips I'm about to share with you, you will be able to achieve your goal of length retention. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Self Care Voyage. To my subscribers, thank you for sticking around with me. Thank you for your support. And if you're visiting for the first time, a warm welcome. My first step is understanding your hair's needs. Just as you wouldn't buy a red dress that was designed for a different body type and undertone, you shouldn't base your hair care routine on recommendations only. Start by understanding what your hair needs, then read the ingredients label of your products. This will allow you to know what these products offer, what benefits they will have for your hair. And it will also allow you to not simply follow trends. Moisture and protein balance. This is crucial for the health of your hair to mitigate breakage. If your hair lacks moisture, it becomes dry and brittle and it will break. If it lacks protein, your hair becomes very stretchy and too soft and that will cause it to break as well. Intact protein structure will allow your hair to retain moisture effectively. Therefore, Always rotate between moisturizing and protein balance to be able to effectively retain length. Identifying culprits of damage. Let's talk about what wears down our hair. And I'm speaking about the culprits as it relates to moisture balance and protein balance. Let's start with moisture deficiency. This can be caused by sulfate shampoos, harsh climates, heavy oils that block water, frequent blow drying, and product buildup from silicones and gels. Protein deficiency is often due to chemical treatments like colors and relaxers, prolonged sun exposure, or using too many deep conditioners without protein. Next on my list of tips to help you save your ends is product application technique. Now when you're shampooing your hair, avoid applying shampoos directly to your ends. Simply allow the latter to cleanse the ends of your strands. In addition, avoid tugging, pulling, rough detangling, and rough drying of your ends. Gently pat dry your ends or allow them to air dry. Now let's look at moisturizing your ends or I should say, correctly moisturizing your ends. Many think that to moisturize your hair means to simply slap on some product and go your way. No, your hair will break. It takes much more care than that. First, you have to understand what really is moisturization. Moisturization is the act of sealing in hydration within your strands. So. When it comes to moisturizing your ends, the first step is to hydrate. You can hydrate your strands by using aloe vera juice or a herbal hair tea. First, you must mist your strands so that the water penetrates to the cortex of your hair. Then you follow up by applying a moisturizing hair care product to seal in that hydration. A moisturizing hair care product that is going to be a great option will always have water, aqua, or aloe vera juice listed as the first ingredient. However, some manufacturers, they may list ingredients in alphabetical order, placing water at the end of the list. However, this does not mean that water is not in abundance in that hair care product. After you seal in your hydration with a moisturizing product, the next step is to cover that or layer that 
with an oil or a butter for example Jamaican black castor oil regular castor oil or maybe shea butter whichever one you have now when you're doing these steps of hydration moisturization and sealing in with an oil or a butter remember to gently manipulate your strands and after applying these products tuck your ends away in a protective hairstyle protecting our ends is key when you're finished hydrating moisturizing and sealing your hair keep it tucked away from the elements like the weather harsh climates the cold or the heat this will preserve your ends much longer protecting your ends will prevent wear and tear and remember the goal when styling your hair is to reduce tension next gentle finger detangling forget the combs use your fingers to navigate knots so that you will not break your strands off remember to finger detangle your hair when you have product like a conditioner on your strands making the strands soft and pliable and more manageable never finger detangle your hair when it's dry next is low manipulation try to keep your styling to a minimum the more you manipulate your hair the more stress you're putting on your fragile ends so try to embrace styles that require less frequent redoing to give your hair a break avoiding heat the last place you would want to apply heat is to the old ends of your hair try to limit heat styling tools and if you must use heat protectants you see heat will strip away the moisture from your hair and also affect your hair's protein scalp care a clean and stimulated scalp will promote strong hair growth so use gentle sulfate free shampoos and consider a scalp massage during your wash routine to increase blood flow adequate protein moisture balance keeping your ends hydrated and moisturized keep them protected keep them tucked away avoid heat styling tools and harsh ingredients these steps will help you to retain a length in the long run so continue to baby those ends of yours because each strand tells a story of resilience and beauty and until next time remember your self-care journey starts now Thank you.